Mary Jacqueline with the Fable Tree here. This week, I am making my family's stocking tags. Now, any of the designs that we made with the gift tags tutorial can be adapted for stocking tags as well, but I just wanted to kind of fill you in on what we're doing in my own family. I rarely make items to use around my own house, uh, but this time I am. Now, uh, if you're wondering where all of the ornament tutorials are, I do have a few on my channel, but I also have an entire module in FileMakers Academy where we take a deep, deep dive into lots of different ornament techniques. So if you're interested in that, check out the details in the description. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to use the type tool and let's just start, let's start with Papa. That's uh, my partner, Matt. Uh, and since we have a kid, he doesn't get his own name. <laughs> Uh, he gets to be Papa. So I'm going to use Gatkin's font. And let's see here. I'm going to just use the select tool, shift, click a corner and drag to make it larger so I can see it. Um, and you'll notice that this is a really small font, or I'm sorry, a really thin font. That's okay. We're going to use an offset to thicken it up in a bit, but don't stress about it for now. Um, now I like this. Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead. You know what? We're going to stick with this 200, roughly size 200 font. That's fine. I'm going to zoom in a little bit just so we can um, see it in better detail. The first thing I'm going to do, of course, is to right click, create outlines. I'm going to zoom in so you can see what happens here. Uh, you'll notice that these little letter tails overlap. So we'll need to come over to the Pathfinder panel and click Unite. And that is lovely. All right, at this point, I am going to come out and do a big offset. So object path, offset path, and I'm going to do a 0.25, okay? And I like the ratio there of letter to uh, backing. In this case, I'm doing two layers. I'm doing a peach, pastel peach acrylic for the top and a sapili wood for the back. It's one of my favorite color combinations these days. So here we are. Now, if you're, um, if your shape, your outer shape doesn't look how you want it to, you can kind of click around uh, and this then it doesn't look like it's, you know, making too big a difference, but um, sometimes it can. So once you're ready or once you're happy with your offset, go ahead and click OK. I'm going to just swap this fill and stroke. And this actually gives us a nice little preview of what our design will look like. OK. Um, now, let's see here. Before I go too much further, I want to put a little circle here so that I can use, in my case, I'm using Baker's twine to hang it. Uh, if you're using ribbon, thicker ribbon, you'll want to make a bigger hole than I'm making. Um, again, we're going to call this the twine hole. <laughs> One of these days, I'll actually look up the real term. Um, but I like a, for this, I like a 0 0.2 by 0 0.2 um, ellipse, which just, of course, makes a circle. And then object, path, offset path. And we're going to do a 0.15 offset. And that makes a thickness that I'm happy with. Now, it's important to think about the thickness of your circle because uh, if you make it too thin, it won't be sturdy and it will break. And if you make it too thick, it'll just look strange. All right. We want to click this inner one here and go object, arrange, bring to front to make sure that it is in the front. Now, it doesn't seem like it matters now, but it does. Go ahead and click uh, and drag over to select both of these. Come swap your fill and stroke. And now come to Pathfinder panel and click to minus front. Reminder that if you don't have the Pathfinder panel, it's under window Pathfinder. OK, so now this is one shape instead of two separate shapes. And that's important when we merge it to this backing here. OK, if you had two separate circles like we had before, uh, things would get really strange. So go ahead and. Um, Put this wherever you want it. You could do it kind of up at the top in the corner. That would be cute. I'm um, going to go ahead and do it roughly halfway, um, halfway centered between sort of the, the this part of the letters without the long P tails. OK, and that's why I'm not using the vertical uh, center align tool because it would include these tails and I don't want that. So whatever, whenever you get <laughs> some placement, a placement that you like, you can click Make sure that you're just clicking this and this and that your letters, your inner letters have not selected. You'll be able to tell, let me zoom in to show you, um, based on whether that little very thin blue line shows up around your letters. If it does, just go to object on group um, and then try again. OK, so we just want the offset and the circle and we are going to go to Pathfinder Unite and that looks lovely. Now, if you want an engraved stocking tag, you're done. All right, you're good to go. But that's not what I want. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm making two layers and uh, adhering them together. So I'm going to put 3M on the back of my acrylic before I cut it. 
saves so much time. And especially with these really thin letters, you don't want to be messing around with glue. Okay, uh, go ahead and copy and paste your letters. Uh, it's Command C, Command V on a Mac, Control C, Control V on a PC, or Edit, Copy, Paste. All right. So we mentioned, or I mentioned, that we're going to thicken this up just a little bit, and we are. So Object Path, Offset Path. Uh, not that much. <laughs> that would be unreadable. We're going to do like a 0.01, just a smidgy bit thicker without losing these little hole details here. Once you've done your offset path and you like the thickness of your letter, keeping in mind that the laser removes a little bit of material as it cuts. So you actually want to make it a tiny bit thicker than you want to see your final letters. Go ahead and select both. I'm going to zoom in so you can see what happens here. Right now you have your original letter and the tiny, tiny offset that you added. So those are both selected. Go to Pathfinder panel and unite, okay? And just make sure that you're not gonna cut your letters out twice, okay? Now let's come back over to this one. We are going to create a negative offset in this case and um, change it from a fill to a stroke so that it scores placement lines because eyeballing placement is really hard <laughs> and your uh, stocking tags will look terrible if you do it improperly. So. Select it, come on up to object path, offset path, and we're gonna do a negative point, let's test it out here, negative point 0.03 perhaps, nope, too small. Uh, let's do maybe a negative point 0.02, and that looks a lot nicer. So I'm happy with that. Before you do anything else and click off and you know anything like that, come on up to your color, change it to whatever color you tend to use for score, and then swap your fill and stroke so that you've got your score color in a stroke. Then again, before you click off onto anything else right now, um, let's zoom in so you can see, right now all that's selected is that green stroke and that's what you want. We're going to Command C or Control C on a, uh, on a PC and then delete it. And then we're gonna select this and delete that too. And then we're going to go edit, paste in place and you have your scored uh, stroke. And over here, we need to remember to swap our fill and stroke so it cuts that out. Now, for mine, since this is a family file, I'm not going to be making this for a bunch of customers. I'm going to just keep all of my pieces on the same file. And then when I upload it into the Glowforge user interface later, I can just delete or select ignore for the parts that I don't want to do. OK, so I'm going to repeat this step for all three of the other remaining members of my family. Um, and you can again, you can use this for uh, customers or for your own use. And I would love to see what you make. If you take gorgeous pictures of your um, stocking tags, please tag me on Instagram at the Fable Tree or email them to me, Jacqueline at the Fable All right. Until next week.